WGN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. The mix is really only coming from one area, and that's the semis, which are trading higher by 32 points. Trade out at 45.59. Uh, they traded higher this morning. They ran right up into its uh, daily oscillator and change line, which is red. So even though you've got a bit of a rally here, the message right now is still a little bit bearish. If we take a look at the Dow off 694, S&P down 72, NASDAQ 100 off 290. Russell's off 30. Uh, trannies are down 37. Gold is up three bucks. Was up $16 just a few moments ago. You've got silver that's uh, flat. Lightspeed crude is off 72 cents. Natural gas is basically flat. And the 30 year treasury is off 19 ticks. Trading out at 113.10. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left hand side. So far, it's just simply been a test of profile support. Profile support is down at 50, 22, 30. If that level fails, probably that buy the D point support at 49, 63, 50 would um, uh, be its target. If you take a look at spot volatility, it still remains above its 50 day exponential moving average. That's always good for the sellers, bad for the buyers out there. If we take a look at the NQ, it has not made its way all the way down to support. Support here would be 17, 252. Uh, if we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, not really a whole lot of movement for the most part, pretty much sideways. We've been sideways for the last couple of days out there. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold still trading with inside that daily profile. It's trading into the support zone. The support zone is between 23.18 and 23.51. Silver continues to trade below the bottom of that daily profile, which is at 27.72. That's a level that price must get above in order to even give you an inkling of a signal that would see any rally of significance. If it can't do that, well, we saw, might see price move down and test the weekly profile support at 26.83. In the case of Lightspeed Crude, just consolidating with inside its daily profile, that range is from 81.33 to 83.84. Natural gas is a sideways consolidation. It tested the bottom of that consolidation this morning. Uh, you'd like to see this close back inside the bottom of its profile. That would be at 1.969. If it does that, we probably hit back to the top of the consolidation. And the 30 year is Treasury and it's by its is, is testing its buy the D point pattern. And that's at 113.10. We're trading right now 113.09. If we close below 113.10 at day's end, we'd likely head lower. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show if you would. But if you're starting your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.